pretend podcasting isn't boring. Hey there, how are you doing? Um, this is Juan Carlos again. I'm still in a gear there. I hope that you're having a good day. Uh, today is very, very sunny. It's 6 50 p.m. and still super sunny. I'm uh, in, a, in a restaurant called Charlie's, it's part of the place where I'm staying. And you know, I've been um, thinking about what topic should I talk about. Uh, there has been many uh, topics, but you know, um, I think everything can be summarized in this uh, week or past weeks in the, the idea that, you know, if, um, let's just say that I hope in the future, not so far away, I will buy some uh, cigarettes because I would love to have a smoke since I've been fucked so good this week. So, without further ado, let's just start it with the topic. How I have been fucked and how you shouldn't uh, get fucked. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you uh, the three main topics um, in which I've been kindly and not so kindly fucked. One is with the bank. The other one is uh, with trusting people, which kind of sucks. And the last one, I would say that is, uh, I don't know, weird circumstances, I guess. So let's just start for the, uh, with the first one, uh, with the bank. So when I was leaving uh, Mexico, uh, you know how banks are. They always want you to stay with them. So when I was leaving Mexico, they told me all these beautiful stories of how this uh, keeping my credit cards and everything was going to be super helpful for me. Well, it has been hell. Like, really, it has been just a problem after another problem and after another problem. And now, just, just to be clear, I don't think that these problems like many people would have these kind of problems, the ones that I'm having. But if you travel and if you are constantly changing your uh, number, those problems, you will have them. So, let me tell you, um, I have, uh, or I used to have two credit cards with a bank called Santander. It's in many places, but this one is in Mexico and they have nothing to do with the one Spain and stuff, only the name. Like they cannot communicate to each other, they cannot do transactions to each other, like, like you know, like easily or something like that. It's just like a completely different bank. So the reason I'm telling you all this is because I want you to give you some solutions uh, about this. So. As I was saying, if you are going to travel the way I'm going to travel, do not, do not have your bank account with credit cards and cards and stuff. The options that I will suggest you is to use uh, these borderless, borderless um, cards, like uh, TransferWise or Revolut. Those are just, it's going to be the future. Like banks just suck it, they are they are just horrible they are i mean i cannot believe like it's just it's just like watching a car crash before it happens and telling the people you know the drivers you know you're 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 fucking this up and they say like yeah i don't care i don't give a, a fuck about your opinion like banks are going to disappear if they continue this way and if if this type of systems uh, borderless systems uh, continue growing like who needs to deal with banks it's just fucked up so anyway my problem is that uh, with my cards they supposed to have these kind of super protections but they are they, they end up just being like redundant and not uh, useful for example and that's why I'm, I was saying that if you are like me maybe you will face this problem and maybe if you are not like me you will not for example uh, they need to validate something with my cell phone number 
that it needs to be linked to the cell phone itself. So it needs to be the same cell phone and the same number. And of course I changed the number and this is like a new rule. It's like a rule that is just uh, like it's new. So they didn't tell me and it, it wasn't like that in the past. So right now it's like that and it's just like, yeah, dude, like it's so bad that you're so far and you change your phones and like, but you cannot use them. And it's okay. You can say, you know, I'm a teeny tiny bank and I will work only in this country. So just if you are leaving, just go away. You know, like don't, don't, don't keep your cards because we are going to be a hassle, a pain in your ass all the time. I used to use it because I uh, have some services that are from Mexico and you need to pay with a car from Mexico. Despite, uh, I think besides uh, Spotify, with the rest of the services, I can pay it, uh, with, with my borderless cars, with uh, TransferWise or Revolut. With uh, Spotify, they need to, needs to be like a car that is uh, from Mexico because I have like a discount, stuff like that. So maybe you will not have that problem. In any case, I strongly suggest you, if you are going to travel, just to avoid avoid the cards. Don't think that, you know, maybe I will use them, maybe I will... If you are going to travel for a long time, just for, forget about that, you know. If you have the possibility of getting a borderless card, just go for it. So far, I think the ones that I have, you need to have like some, some sort of resident permit or visa from, from a... European country or the UK in some some part some of some services I think they work with the United States I don't remember but just avoid the fucking banks they are just so horrible and the people listen I used to work in a call center and I used to be like an asshole and to be honest it looks like every person that attends me that 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 answer my call it's another Juan Carlos they are just assholes like me it's just unbelievable Maybe it's karma, maybe it's just the way it is, but it just, they, they're just horrible human beings. And I think, I mean, I get it. It's, 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 it's such an easy job, but so like, I don't know. It's just dealing with customers is difficult. I understand, but you need to put yourself in the shoes of the other person or, or, or quit. Uh, I, I don't know. For, for me, it has been uh, like a hassle. Every time that I do this is just a hassle. So, advice: do not take your cards, and do, you don't don't fall for the you know insurance and stuff like that. You know, Revolut give you so much, and of course, I mean I'm a super tiny person. Probably one or two people just listen to this podcast. So, trust me, they are not sponsoring me at all. It's just it's just like what I really believe, like. Revolut has the best app that I've seen. It's it's super helpful. It's only for the app I would use Revolut, but TransferWise has very good rates and it's just, it just it works almost in every place, except in well it works, but in Serbia you you cannot get like like uh, it was Serbia yeah you cannot get like Serbian Serbian money. So for that Revolut has Serbian money, but. In the rest, I would use TransferWise or a combination of both. Just look for a borderless card that will be helpful for you. Now, the second uh, fuck that I, I I got is, listen, some time ago, I was in Poland and I was, um, you know, having a relationship with a person. And then uh, in, in one point, uh, I had to travel because of, uh, you know, the, the visa that you have in Europe is only three months, so I had to travel outside of the Schengen zone, which is basically the European zone, uh, exceptions or whatever, but Schengen zone. And um, yeah, this person we were talking, and this person was like, you know, why don't you you can leave, leave your stuff and everything? And it, you know, it's not like I'm going to throw your stuff away. Not even if we have a problem, if and we break up. Well, wrong, wrong. I was to believe in the words of a person that tell you this. Just listen to this very careful. It's very useful. If somebody tell you something that they are not going to do, keep in mind that they have that idea in their minds. So if I say, it's not that I'm going to steal your money. It's like, dude, at least you had that idea. You thought about that. Well, 
That's exactly what happened with this person. And it's crazy because uh, probably in her mind, uh, she thinks that I cheat on her or something like that. So I fully um, trust her and said like, okay, I'm going to leave my stuff uh, here, which is hard drive, expensive uh, computer uh, equipment, not the computer itself, but like, a, you know, like a super cool uh, mouse, stuff like that. Uh, hard drive with a lot of pictures that is just like I'm not going to get back and my ca camera with a telephoto lens and you know like all the, the tricks uh, and, and Nikon not like a super professional but a, a good camera well everything lost but uh, you know if you want to hear uh, if you are listening to this in uh, Instagram TV this is the time for saying goodbye and you know that you can continue this on YouTube or in Spotify. So, uh, yeah, for the rest, let's just continue with the fucking story. So anyway, like I don't want to talk a lot like about uh, like the personal information about this. I don't want to be like an asshole and to be honest, I don't want to be uh, also like, uh, you know, some somebody whining about this. Uh, I, 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 I just trying to, you know, if, if, if you want to trust somebody about, uh, with this stuff, just don't, just don't do it. I'm like, I'm sorry, it's just, it's just easier. It's just easier just to not trust uh, somebody with that. Like, and it's just so crazy because, uh, Probably, like, I have no idea what uh, what is in her mind, but you know, it's it's just crazy. And um, she was telling me in one, in one point, you know, if uh, you know, like, uh, it's not that I'm going to take your stuff into the trash. And I almost sure that that's exactly what she did, uh, which is uh, insane. And you know, the the reason. Uh, the, the core internal reason is like a very personal emotional probably I didn't do anything wrong but maybe she thought that I, I did something wrong but to be honest I just saw that uh, you know and it was related to traveling like she didn't understand what what, what it was traveling for me and uh, stuff like that so anyway the, the core point of this is just do not uh, do not leave your stuff with people with any people I, to be honest I wouldn't say like even friends it's not that you shouldn't trust them but you don't know how things are going to change or what is going to happen and even with friends you don't know if you're going to see them again or you can say, well, yeah, you can send me the stuff. You don't know if you can uh, get this stuff back. So you need to be quite careful about the stuff that you bring. Because for me, when uh, when we were talking and she said, like, you know, you can leave the stuff here for me. It was like, okay, I can, you know, it's some some weight that I can eliminate from my back, you know. Uh, and it was it was a, a good idea because I had the 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 the, um, the plan to come back. So anyway try to just not uh, do that not to uh, take how can i say it it's, i mean it sucks that, that, to say not to trust people but it's just crazy like you can uh, think that you know somebody and then uh, stuff crazy stuff happen and it's incredible because you see this in in tv and everything you know like this and it's not this no i don't know if it's the stereotype of the east european person i have no idea but this idea of you know like yeah i can do crazy stuff i'm a woman and i can do crazy stuff i'm not saying that is uh, the case i'm not saying that is because of the woman what i'm saying is that you see on tv this uh, stuff um one that is like I definitely recommend you to watch if you want to have like some crazy fun and some like guilty pleasure it's a story about a girl called Anfisa or something like that from Ukraine and uh, it, it's just crazy just just look at it just google it it will be you will have like a guilty pleasure with that um, but it's um, also 
you know, it also makes you think that not many people understand what it's like when you're traveling for, for long periods, like what it's about. Like this person was like, yeah, with how many people have you had uh, sex or stuff like that? It's just like, I was so uh, annoying and I didn't want to reply, not because I had like something to hide. It's just like, it's so like insulting that you, I'm doing uh, something with a completely different mindset and you are seeing it with a completely different mindset. It's just, it's just crazy. So anyway, I, I want to leave that uh, with, with that uh, information and no more. So the third one, I would say that is like, the plants can change very rapidly. And I have, uh, I've been staying here in a gear there in a beautiful, beautiful uh, room, like hotel room, super nice, uh, in front of the lake and everything. So I was uh, talking with uh, the friend of the, of the hotel and I was telling him, you know, like uh, a friend told me that he wanted uh, to visit me. So uh, I was wondering if it's possible. And he said, that, yeah, no problem. Uh, but in that case, it's better if I change you to a to, the, to a hostel hostel room instead of your hotel room. I was like, yeah, you know, like he's my friend. He has been hosting me for some uh, two times. So if he's coming, it's OK. I'm willing to make uh, the change. But then my friend, my friend uh, called me and said, you know, like I'm doing some stuff with the university and it, uh, it looks like I'm, I will need to uh, study every day. So I will not be able to, co- to go. If you want to come, it would be nice. And like, dude, I just gave up like a super cool room. <laughs> it just went away. Um, but what is, you know, what is uh, super uh, funny about this is that even these problems, even with the with the bank, that I need to call them again to see what the fuck, uh, even with the bank and everything, it's just like you can notice when you're doing something right if you if you uh, don't take these problems to to like too too bad or, or too seriously or if it really bothers you or make you feel sad or bad. If that doesn't happen, you're basically, in my book, you're winning in life. You are not feeling like super bad. You know, when um, when when people people in the bank says that, was like, well, okay, if I cannot use it, then it's a better excuse just to eliminate every contact with the bank. And I learned a lesson. And with this girl, like, for me, it sucks, and I will try to to get my camera back. But it's in some point, I I I don't feel bad for me I feel bad for her like I, I, I don't know how it's damn like shh, finding finding somebody is going to be very difficult for her uh, in my opinion and the um, third thing you know it's funny because in the room that I used to be it was a private room and super nice but it started to be like quite hot and uh, right now I'm in the hostel and uh, basically nobody else is in the room and um, it's super fresh. It's in front of, uh, like in a gear there, there's two sides that are very close together. Like you can, like it's it's like a little uh, peninsula, I would say. Uh, so you have f- air coming or wind coming from one side to the other. So I'm just exactly in the point where the wind like comes and it's super, super nice. And in a sense, like I also feel that you need to break this uh, comfort comfort zone sometimes because other time otherwise you will just get stuck so i'm planning just to continue uh, traveling right now turkey's the regulations with the coronavirus and everything just are like better softer and uh, people are receiving other people and stuff like that so i'll just continue in that uh, way so yeah, that's the story why I need um, cigarettes after being quite constantly and repeatedly fucked. But anyway, uh, time to say goodbye. Uh, as I've been saying before, I'm trying to keep this short. If you want to check uh, more information and other interesting content, you can uh, go to the webpage, one around that art, that blog. Remember, if you are listening this um, or watching it in 
YouTube, you can uh, listen in Spotify. And if you are listening in Spotify, uh, you can check it in uh, YouTube. There is also a good podcast service, so you can also listen it there, and the Anchor service. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Juan Around. And remember, if you love my content, you can support me on my Patreon account, um, patreon.com, support one. Or you can buy me a coffee on buy me a coffee slash for one. So as always, it has been a pleasure. Follow, like, share, subscribe, and all the information that you know already. And as always, uh, see you around.